Good morning guys, it's 4.30 in the morning and we're in Haswan railway station. We're taking the train to Luxor. Last night though, we went to the Isis temple, which is located on, a, on an island and they had the light and sound show. It is amazingly good. They tell the story of Isis, Horus and the son Osiris. Some people say it is the story of Jesus Christ. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Um, also, if you guys haven't subscribed, I'll turn the red button white. And I'll see you guys in Luxor. The adventure continues. Quick train ride this morning. It took way later than it was supposed to. I'm glad it's finally over. So let's get the day started. Jamaica, stand up. I'm staying at the world famous Barbony House. A lot of people stay here, so super nice. This is my host, Mr. Khalid. You're welcome. Super nice man. You're welcome. Waiting for the tour guide to get here. In the meantime, I forgot the name of these things. If you know the name of it. Karnak Big Complex, the most big worship temple in the world. I normally don't do guide, but Egypt is too important to be winging it by yourself. On top of that, if you do come here without a guide, you don't know what you're looking at. You do not know how to interpret it. Sure, you can take some beautiful pictures, but you also want to understand the history behind here. So, you know, if you do come here, get a guide. My guide name is Aladdin. He's also reviewed on Lonely Planet, so you guys should be able to find him. If you do ever come here, he's the man you guys should definitely talk to. Temple in Egypt, we found the hieroglyphics this deep. Yes, and sometimes they carve in. I told you, sometimes they carve out. Lion is fighting the arm, biting the arm. She protects the king during the war. 3,200 years, this color, yeah? Original color. And this is the flower, and the honeybee means king, king of upper and lower Egypt. So the flower means upper Egypt. The honeybee means lower Egypt. Seneb Nisuti Biti means king of upper and lower Egypt. makeshift village. And this is the most interesting thing in the village. How you work in the alabaster handmade vase. I have to big vase at home. I make it like candy. This hand and this is the machine. The machine is heavy. The hand is light, yeah? And this is the alabaster stone. Look here. Very beautiful stone. Look like crystal, yeah? to bring the color out. You gotta support the locals whenever you go somewhere. Yes. Even if you can't really spend a lot of money, you have to yes. buy something and support the local. Yeah. Oh, my boy right here. Wow. Definitely, very skilled guy. Actress to temple is my favorite temple. This is a queen, but she buried in the valley of the king. She dressed like a man, and she has the false beard of the king. She had beef with her stepson, and upon her death, he removed her name, her face. Sometimes, a lot of personal grudge is the reason for a lot of destruction. Hatshepsut, she sent a trade mission to where? To Bontland. Where is Bontland now? Africa, Somalia land. This is description. How the land of Bont look like. You see the coconut tree. You see the African house, African. You see all the fish of the Red Sea, because he used the Red Sea to go to the Indian Ocean. This is embalming temple, only used once. Built in 18 years, to use only for 70 days. That was 
hot chicken soup. 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 Hot chicken Hot chicken soup. 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 Ancient Egypt, the Greek and Roman and Muslim and Christian. So five culture in one temple. This is the idea in this temple. The whole facade built by Ramses II. The end of the temple, older, built by Amenhotep III, the father of Akhenaten. Yeah? decided to come to Egypt, my boy told me two things. Go to Luxor Temple and do this. Guy, that was amazing. No woman, no cry, yeah, right. I never die. That's right. It's like the most powerful thing I get. Bob Marley. No woman, no <laughs> Luxor Airport. We are going back to Cairo. Luxor was so much fun, but I wish I had more time. Let's board the plane and I'll see you guys in Cairo. Good morning, guys. Yeah, I was so tired yesterday. I went for a nap and I woke up at like 3 in the morning. But I'm feeling well rested today. We gotta go see the pyramid. Welcome to Giza Plateau. This is the home of the pyramids, three pyramids. I think it took like 30 years to build each pyramid. I think in Egypt altogether there's like 70 pyramids all over the place. And the place is huge. In pictures it looks like the pyramids are like close to each other, but in reality they are literally like almost a mile apart from each other. You kind of got to get a guy to come up here. And furthermore, stay away from the camera unless you have like insurance. And the horse, not the best thing. I think the carriage is probably the best way to get around inside the park. There's another option where you can actually buy your ticket, walk in, and just have fun. But in reality, the pyramid, they are amazing, amazing. Those rocks are huge. How did these people move these is beyond me. Some rock came all the way from Luxor. This guy is a big star here. The line of Chinese people to take a picture with this tank is ridiculously long. It is a marvel though. I mean, it's all that. Wow. With that being said, this is where we end our trip to Egypt. It was wonderful. Egypt is an amazing country, amazing people, good food, the culture. I can't say enough about it. And Egyptians are some of the nicest people I have ever met in my life. If you guys like the video, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, keep living. Peace.